Today's video is all about beefing up a 4.4 into Awakened. We're going to do the entire thing. Now, I'm going to be making a light crossbow because I think it's really good at clearing <laughs> Hunter Corrupted Dungeons. And I want to clear some dungeons before the patch ruins this fun. So, here we go. If I type light crossbow... Right now, the price is 1.2 million if I buy one crafted by who knows what, right? But, if I buy the ingredients instead, which I've already done a little bit of planning here. Let me just get rid of my inventory real quick. We're just going to do a little bit of quick selling here and just get rid of some stuff. Uh, you'll see that the ingredients that I have currently in my inventory are worth 1.11 million, but we're going to get some of that back. Now, in order to craft a tier 4 weapon, you only need to take 5 tier 3 weapons study them, and use 11 learning points. That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna go over here to the crafting bench and craft us a 4.4 light crossbow. Pretty simple stuff. So here we are, light crossbow 4.4. I'm not using focus, that would be ridiculous. Don't need to use it. Also, I'm crafting it in the correct city, so this is a light crossbow. Here in Bridgewatch, there is a 15% crossbow bonus. Unfortunately for me, there is no bonus to crossbows today, but that's fine. It's who cares. It's not that big of a, a money difference, right? But this 4.4 light crossbow, I will craft it and check out my item value. 1.11 million. We're gonna craft it. It's gonna cost me six thousand. And uh, I got a few journals here. I'm gonna fill too. It, it only fills two and a half journals. 1.51 million. We just made four hundred thousand silver. That is if I were to sell the crossbow. Of course I'm not, though. We're going to be using it. We're going to be awakening it. Also, I got a bunch of... Well, not really a bunch. A little bit. You know, if I wanted to go into the specialization for light crossbows. Other than that, uh, this is still level 1. So, again, it's not the biggest of XP boosts. But, hey, we got some free silver here just by hitting a few buttons. And uh, now the painful part. We, we want to make this excellent quality. So we're going to reroll the quality now to excellent. So that's 26k. We're going to stop at excellent. And uh, so there we go. 26k, 32k. Fail. Wow, that failed. Okay. Uh, another <laughs> That failed twice in a row, bro. Okay, we got excellent. So, you know, we paid like 100k for excellent. And uh, yeah, there we go. We, <laughs> we, we crafted this way cheaper than buying one currently on the market way way cheaper and uh, yeah i'm just gonna quick sell these because i'm lazy and i don't care and i know i'm gonna lose money quick selling it same with journals i'm not gonna bother but uh <laughs> there we go so now we have ourselves a light crossbow is there anyone buy no there's no one buying i can't just flip this for that quickly that would be a whole different video but now we have to actually awaken the weapon and you may be wondering what about leveling the weapon that's, no, it, it's insanely easy to level, and I will absolutely show you. But first, we're going to see how much it costs to awaken. And we need three siphoned and three Avalonian and 121k. Not too bad. Uh, as, here's what we're hoping, though, that I don't get stupid mods. Because I want something like cooldown reduction, health, ability damage, maybe lifesteal. Something like that, right? So we need Siphoned Energy, which I completely misspelled. We only need three, that's fine. Avalonian Energy. So we just need three of these. I'm just going to buy from the stack. That's not a one stack. There we go. And uh, now we can pay 100k and awaken this bad boy. And I'm going to show you the process of leveling it up too. Because it's a, it's a 4.4 and 5.4, you can level in safe zones. We don't have to go to the red or black zone to level this bad boy up. But there we go. We're going to awaken this now. It is now attuned to me. And I don't have any points, so I can't do any kind of, uh, you know, I can't add modifiers yet. But let's go get geared up and, uh, you know, do some, uh, just, just a little bit of grinding on it. Not too much. And again, this is super easy to level, and I will show you exactly how we're going to do it. So we're going to equip the crossbow, equip uh, the proper skills, put on our 8.4 gear that we're going to be using. And uh, we're just going to go kill some mobs super duper quick. And lifesteal food, potion. Yeah, we're all set. So this is all I need. And uh, it's right outside town is where I'm going to be grinding. In a tier 4 blue zone. Completely safe, by the way. Very, very good. Now, I, I don't know why I'm still using this mount. But hey, it's fine. We don't need a special mount for this. There we go. And uh, I just have to kill a few mobs. I don't have to kill that many. 
I'm like I'm gonna sh like show you the whole process uncut, leveling up <laughs> the awakened 4.4 light crossbow. And hell, if we manage to do it in a timely manner, then I can even show you how well it does in Corrupted Dungeons. In Hunter, of course, I'm not playing full loot. I'm not a meta slave. I'm not going to go give my loot away to some dude that's uh, played 10 million matches and has a complete counter to my build. I don't think so. So we'll be doing Hunter Corrupted Dungeons, and hopefully... We, you know, we're going to flag up for PvP and Hunter, and hopefully we're not fighting someone else doing the same thing we are. Otherwise, well, we don't lose our gear, and the repair bill isn't that big of a deal, because it's only tier 4, so who cares? But, uh, this is how you can level any weapon, is just using these items here. Oh, it's so broken. We're just going to ride straight into the static here and just kill a few mobs, Don. Don't even have to kill that many mobs, just a few, just... I could run into this little group dungeon here and kill a few mobs. It doesn't have to be the static, right? So here we go. We got a couple mobs, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and start blasting them. There we go. Shoot and shoot, and then use our spells, use our abilities. And watch. Like, we're already about to kill the normal one here. And because it, <laughs> my armor is doing most of the heavy lifting here, right? There we go. And uh, just got to finish them off. It's not as fast as, uh... Oh, I didn't even eat my lifesteal food. I don't think we really need it here. I can always remount if I need to. Yeah, we're about to kill the elite here. There we go. Elite is down. Go ahead and just, uh... With lifesteal food, this is way easier to do. But, hey, you can still see. I'm, I'm taking them out. And, uh, as you can see here, the awakening now is... 1,351 out of 2,087. We're already halfway to the first step of being maxed out, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and uh, push in a bit further. And that's that's too hard of a pull for our current weapon's power level. We, if we could just pull that guy, nah, it's it's too tough. I need to eat my life steal food because that was cutting it a little close. So let's eat that and see if we can solo pull him. Maybe. Nope. Okay, that's going to pull too many. Uh, normally there's people clear in this, but for whatever reason right now there isn't. So, uh, we're, we gotta be a little bit more careful. Okay. You know, that's just a little two-man two, two man pull. That's pretty easy. So, we're just gonna dump on him here. Enemies die pretty quick. Not a problem. And again, the fame, pretty dang good. Pretty dang quick. Alright. And there we go. It's fully leveled up and ready to go. And now we can teleport back. I'm gonna do... Normally I would ride back, okay? I'm not the kind of guy that spends 30k to teleport and save 30 seconds but because i'm filming a video for you guys i will make it a bit quicker and you can be like well you could just stop recording now you see then i have to edit the video if i can keep it going if i can just keep recording without any cuts uh <laughs> uh then you know we can make some progress now before we enchant we do need to repair there we go got it taken care of all right it's time to roll our first mod and this is where things can get really crappy so let's hopefully we get a good one. All right, we're going to add trait. That's only 6,000. If I use focus, it's only 20 focus, bro. So, um, you know, I'd rather grind than spin my foot. No, I don't think I, I don't know if I do. Whatever, let's just go for it. We got ability damage, defense, and crowd control duration. So obviously we don't care about defense versus all. We want ability damage, and we got it. There we go. Ability damage is on the weapon. That's going to make our armor, helmet, everything stronger. We're going to upgrade that bad boy until we unlock the second slot here. 10k to upgrade and uh, I'm gonna go don't show me this again. I'm gonna click this and skip the animation uh, As you can see we didn't really get that that far, but uh, we can do it again and again and uh, We still don't have that slot unlocked, but you can see my attunement cost is a little high We have to go out and grind again this time. We're gonna grind to 12k So we did 2k the first time now we do 12k again. It's not that bad. It's pretty easy to do and you know what? I think I will skip the grind for you guys because uh, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. All right, back after a few minutes of grinding. Let's uh, continue the enchantment level here. We're going to upgrade the trait. There we go. And uh, we still don't have the next part unlocked yet. 35k down the drain. Let's continue. 4.5%. All right, now we have the new trait unlocked. And uh, how about our attunement? You know, how much attunement do we have? We have about 7,000 left. Let's add a new trait. This is going to cost 2,000 attunement. It's 90,000 silver. Let's go with um, cooldown reduction, lifesteal, or health. 
that's the ones we want. So, 90k, this is how much, okay. Energy, bad, auto attack rage, bad, auto attack. These are all garbage. These are all absolutely terrible, but the energy one is the least worst one. Oof, alright, so we gotta fail. It's gonna cost us, uh... Because so, I definitely want to replace this. I, there's no reason to keep this on the weapon ever, for any reason. So we're going to replace it. It's going to cost 100k now. And uh, 3k on attunement cost. So let's replace. And we got max health. There we go. Life steal. Oh, life steal is really good. It's Max health is way better in corrupted dungeons. Uh, so I'm going to go with max health. There we go. We got max health. Now... We gotta increase our rating to 30 before we can add a third trait, and it's gonna start to get a little costly when we do. But that's okay, because we got more grinding to do. Now, I can't upgrade either of these traits. They cost 2,820. My new maximum is 42,303, so I'm gonna go back out and grind some more. And here we are, back from another grind. Now, I want to point out my silver dropping is mostly due to the satchel and auto respec being turned on, because I do want the fame credits. But essentially, we're going to be awakening this weapon even more now with maximum HP. Way more valuable than ability damage. And uh, here we go. So that's 90,000. We're going to skip the, the animation there. Uh, 100,000 skip. 100,000 skip. 120,000 skip. 140,000 skip. And we can add a third trait or we can keep pushing our maximum HP. So I have about 24,000 attunement rating left. This costs 4,800. To add a trait is 7,000. And man, is it's a tiny, tiny percent chance to get life steal, or what I would prefer is uh, cooldown rate, as in uh, our ability cooldown, which would be really, really nice to have. But um, most likely, I'm not going to get that, and uh, it's going to start getting pretty damn pricey. 236,000. Just for a chance to roll one of those two, I'll probably get something stupid like auto attack damage, like who cares? It's not enough to really matter, or defense versus all. So, for now, I'm going to continue pushing max health because this is the main trait that will allow us to win in Hunter Corrupted Dungeons. So I'm going to go back to upgrade and uh, blow the remaining attunement points here. 150k silver, and uh, let's see, 170k silver, 189k silver... And, oh, we got a little crit there, you can see. We're up to 3, plus 324 HP. That's insane. That's a huge amount. This is 200,000 silver at 6k attunement cost. And, uh, yeah, it gave us, like, 14 health. So, there we go. So, this is a pretty beefy, like, uh, crossbow at this point. It's got ability damage. Not enough. I'd like it up to halfway. And, uh, I got maximum health to about halfway because maximum health, as you can see, caps out at 615 if you divide that by 2. That's uh, like 307. We're way above that, so it's better to work on ability damage or the third trait at this point, but we need more attunement points. Now, uh, we grinded 40k, and now we need to grind up to 100k, but it's going to start getting real pricey to beef this thing up further because it's 300, uh, let's see, this ability damage upgrade, 200k, adding a trait, 300k, and then we've got to do that like 10 times. You can see how pricey this thing gets, but already... This thing is ready to go. This thing is beefy as heck. We can take this right now all to Hunter Corrupted Dungeons and we'll do just fine. Here I am invading someone's dungeon. Now, this is just Hunter Corrupted. It looks like they've only cleared this little walkway, so I'm going to go ahead and mosey on over there. Uh, it kind of sucks, though, because I'm going to have to cross through some mobs and don't want to get blown up. So I'm going to have to clear these, actually, before I can get over to them, since he literally cleared none of the dungeon at all. And, oh boy gonna be annoying now I'm gonna get identified here by the little specter thing which is fine and one more mob oh that's a little three three mob I'm gonna have to run past that so I don't take too much damage but um I got pulled in oh no I really should have probably fought him well either way we should still be carried by our oh he's all the way down there at the entrance oh man it's quite a walk also, I he has um, bottom screen advantage, but that's fine because it's just Hunter. So even if I die, it's not like we lose our loot or anything. All right, it's gonna be. Oh, we can see him. What's what's he got? He is not awakened at all. Look at his HP and look at mine. It's so unfair, bros. It's insanely unfair. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just look at this. <laughs> oh man, what's he gonna do? <laughs> like it's no contest, man. 
Oh, geez. Look, oh, boy. I earned 6,000 silver. So, I just want to show you guys that awakening a weapon for Hunter Corrupted Dungeons, it's really not worth doing at all. Uh, you're just tormenting the poor players that are stuck in Hunter difficulty. And, uh, yes, I'm aware I threw a poison potion worth 10k at them. That's totally... That's the whole point, is just dunking on new players, right? And, uh... <laughs> Oh man, what a, what a fun time. Anyway, <laughs> so yes, yes, we did waste several million <laughs> just to do that, just for the memes, okay? <laughs> uh, how much, uh, how much infamy was that guy worth? <laughs> he was using an infernal staff too, oh no. Oh, let's see, come on, how much was he worth? 468! <laughs> oh no. You get that from killing mobs. Anyway, uh, so yes, I can totally take a set like this into Stalker Corrupted Dungeon, but my crossbow hasn't been meta in, in Stalker Corrupted Dungeons for years. So I would just lose it to someone playing a meta build, and they would just run away and reset infinitely. So again, don't do what I did. Don't do anything that I've done in this video, unless you just... Love to torment the new players in Hunter Corrupted Dungeons. Now, they will be patching this somewhat, a little bit, by about 80% effectiveness in the next major update. So, until then, you're free to torment the, <laughs> the lobies if you want. Please like the video, because there's going to be a bunch of haters for some reason, even though it's, it's just a good fun, bros. It's just a good fun, okay? Um, and finally, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click, and if you don't click it, then, um, you're gonna have a really nasty, warm, juicy fart, and you're gonna check, and there's gonna be nothing there. So, y it'll just, you won't know what happened. 